you found out that there are companies paying 100k plus salary for sitting in front of a computer and typing. You have been around computers for a while now and believe that you have what it takes to learn programming and land one of these high paying jobs. So you enroll in a computer science degree thinking you will learn to program and be cool like the hackers in the movies. One year into your degree and you realize it's nothing like you thought. In this video, I'm going to go over what you need to know before starting your computer science degree to have the right expectations along the way. My name is Bradley Allen, and on this channel, we go over computer science topics with the purpose of making you more knowledgeable. Let's get into the video. Before starting a CS degree, you may think that college will teach you everything you need to know. This is false. Most likely your college will teach you the basics of everything in computer science, but it will not let you master any of them. Mastering a subject will be entirely up to you. For example, most colleges start teaching their students C++, Java, Python, and the fundamentals of programming. After you know the fundamentals of programming, such as for loops, if statements, object-oriented programming, the class will end, and that will be the end of what they will teach you for that specific programming language. It is up to you to build further projects and actually go into the in-depth things about that language so you can learn more and master it yourself. Sure, you may have another class going over some advanced topics using that language, but everything will be general and not very specific. This is important because if you do not actually have an interest in programming outside of college, this could cause problems with improving. This may hurt, but computer science is basically math, but with computers. 70% of your time while studying computer science will be spent trying to understand math, and the other 30% will be using the math with computers. This is crucial to know before starting a computer science degree, because you might get your hopes up thinking you're gonna be programming and programming and programming, when in reality, you're gonna be doing a lot of math. The typical math classes that you have to take during a college degree for computer science are college algebra, calculus one, two, and sometimes three, depending on the college, discrete math, linear algebra, and statistics. Now this is only the, the core math classes that you have to take, and there might your college might have to make you take more or less. And these are just the math classes themselves. Other computer science classes have embedded math into their structure of teaching. So for example, if you're doing algorithms, you might have a algorithm that is using some math topic that you learned in another math class. So basically, if you're in computer science, you gotta get used to math and get used to getting dirty with it. Do not let this scare you, because if you want it bad enough, you will learn the math. You can do the things that it takes to get through and pass those classes. So. While you are doing math in your courses and trying to understand assembly, if you want to get an internship, you will have to prepare for this on the side. This means solving interview questions with data structures and algorithms. Data structures and algorithms is the most important concept when solving interview questions. Just about all computer science internships require the applicant to solve technical questions. This means if you do not know how to solve problems, you will have to learn and to be able to. When I mean solving problems, I mean solving leak code interview questions. So how to reverse a linked list, you know, those types of things. I wish I knew this before starting my computer science journey, because if I knew this, I would have started leak coding in eighth grade. After hearing all of this, you may think that you can't do it because there is too much math and you are not smart enough. But I am here to say, that you can do it if you want it bad enough and do the things that are needed to overcome those challenges. Every large problem can be broken down into smaller problems that are easier to handle. And you must use this concept or this idea when taking these hard college classes. For you to understand calculus, you must understand algebra. And if you must understand algebra, you must understand numbers. And so you gotta work your way up from there and there and there. Do not get overwhelmed and do not let the things overwhelm you. Remember that knowing all of the concepts and being able to apply these concepts and solve problems can lead to very high paying careers and amazing jobs. Do not forget this when you're studying math 
and all of these hard topics. So I'm gonna share some tips and tricks that worked for me over my college years, currently a senior. So take the, these tips or, or whatever with a grain of salt, maybe they help you, you know. When taking math classes, do not quit because of a single bad grade. It is not over until it is over. So if you make a 60 on the first test, do not give up because you may be able to turn it around. It's not over till that final grade's in. Another tip I wanna give you is pick a fa pick your favorite programming language and learn it 100% fully. Keep learning it until you can think in that language. So for example, the language I know best is C++ and I can use it to solve leak code problems and I use that to understand hard topics in other languages. This makes it so the syntax will not hold me back from understanding. So I know C++ 100%. So when I go to learn how to use a hash map, I won't have to worry about traversing a hash map inside of C++. I can just think about using the hash map rather than, okay, do I use a parentheses here, there, uh, semicolon? You don't wanna do that when you're learning these advanced topics. You wanna have your 100% language that you can know and then learn topics and build upon that because this will allow you to think in that language and think using the different, okay, what can I do with C++ with this? Or can I do that with C++? Like, Cause if you try to do different things with different languages, your knowledge will be everywhere and it won't be able to be focused on one single language and you can just build, build, build and get better at that language. I wish somebody told me this. This has worked out for me because now when I do leak code, I can just focus on the problem at hand and the data structure that I'm gonna use and the algorithm rather than how do I implement it. Another, another tip is to apply to every single internship and job and if they give you a chance to interview do it it does not matter if you think you are not ready enough you will never be 100 percent prepared for any interview so why not take them all and improve on every single interview that you do lastly i got two more tips passing is passing if you make a c sometimes you got to do what you got to do and get that c to progress to the next class i'm not the best at discrete math but i did i passed it and that's behind me i knew what i needed to know and I got done with that class. So maybe that can help you. You can apply that to your class. And remember that there is an end date to your degree. It will not be forever. So if you learned something new, like the video, comment down below something that would help somebody else do, about to start their computer science degree. And don't forget guys, subscribe. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.